Okay, guys, so I've been called by um, a member of the Neighborhood Council for the Boyle Heights Neighborhood Council, David Silva, who has come um, by here, as he often does, and I had to stop on his brakes because he saw an anti-Semitic and um, homophobic tagging that went up. And so the police were called, and even though we're in quarantine right now, I've decided to come out and um, take a look. Right now the police are here. So we're gonna come and we're gonna see what it looks like. Hello officers, thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now this is just mind blowing to me. This is, this is just mind blowing to me. We are here on, at the 6th Street Bridge where at Lorena Bernal Street is right here, just to give you an orientation of where we're standing at. Um, in the community, you know, our stairways that lean down to here. And um, this was what was noticed today. Um, a anti-Semitic and anti-gay um, tagging that went up here on this beautiful monument, the 4th Street Bridge. And, um, you know, as the, um, you know, as a Jewish person, as a queer person in this community, um, you know, as the uh, lay Jewish leader, for all, all intents and purposes, I'm the lay rabbi of this community. Um, to see this coming up in a historic Jewish community, um, where I've been a member for six generations, um, here in the area close to Russia Town, and um, where my own Vadrio meets up, is, is just mind blowing. So, thankfully, the officers are here, and um, we are going to set to um, painting over this. Um, you know, just because we have a quarantine does not mean that we're going to stop what we're doing. Go. Okay, so I'm here with David Silva of, of the Boyle Heights Neighborhood Council. I'm also here with some um, officers from, uh, from Hollenbeck Division. And um, this has been up already for a few days. We're not exactly sure who did it. But, but I'm a, I, I, I've lived in this community for six generations, and I absolutely know that uh, this is a hate attack and it's not something done by the gangs in the area. I know White Fence, I've lived here my entire life and I know that they would not do this. There are, the gangs in the neighborhood are about self-protection in our neighborhood. They would not be going after some of our own, especially in the historic neighborhood that used to be 45% Jewish, where 75,000 Jewish people once lived and where here you have Chicano people who represent the Jewish people today as the Jewish leader, as a queer Jewish leader of Boyle Heights, as you know, our lay rabbi of this community. It's about time that we address this and we get rid of this. So here it goes. Covering good. Yeah, luckily we had some leftover white paint. Um, the Mexicanas, the Mexicanas who were helping me select the paint from my storage, they wanted me to. We first found yellow paint. They're mm. like, put a big old star of David. I was like, <laughs> no, no, no. We're gonna get Public rid art. of this <laughs> so that there's no indication that there was anything here at all. It's not gonna survive. This is what we do to fascism, historically, in Boyle mm -hmm. Heights. It's a great picture of the anti-Nazi parade. The anti -Nazi 1938, parade. Uh, right on uh, Brooklyn Avenue. Uh, yes. It's a great, uh, That's great image. That's actually one of our most famous events, November yeah. 22nd, 1938, a week and a half after Kristallnacht, mm -hmm. as they started putting Jews into concentration camps, 15,000 people came together in this neighborhood mm -hmm. in order to stand against fascism. Yes. We're one of the only places in the world which did this. And um, I want to thank you, the Neighborhood Council, 
I want to thank Hall and Beck Division for, for raising awareness <laughs> yeah. about okay. this. Okay. And um, for, you know, our neighbors for helping, looking out for us. And I'm just asking, you know, I'm asking the guys of our community, I'm asking the members of our community, look out for our community so that we do not have people that are turning on each other, especially during this time of crisis and the coronavirus, when we're supposed to be all indoors and everything, that people are actually doing this. Um, you know, I'm, I did not expect to come out of quarantine today, but for this mission, I'm willing to do it. So um, thank you everyone, and I will see you too. Shalom Aleichem, and be well. Zai